Hi guys, uh, keep watching my video. If this video is in Urdu, the next video is going to be in English. The same video if you can't understand my language, so I'm helping it out because I was getting so many requests that my all my videos should be in English. So from now on, I'm making a video in Urdu and in English as well. Thank you very much. Take care. Enjoy this video. Assalamu alaikum dosto. Hi guys, this is Arshad Qureshi and welcome to my training video. So today I'm going to talk about screw short. Yes, a very fascinating short and it, it always uh, gives pleasure or to the player whoever plays the screw short and audience as well. They, it's love to uh, see white ball coming off the object ball. So uh, today I'm going to give you a practice because I, be, I was getting so many emails or messages that how they can, uh, how a player can improve its screw short. So today we are going to talk about simple practice short. I'm going to start with the soft screw, then slightly medium pace short, uh, screw short, and then uh, deep screw shorts as well. So uh, you you need to practice these shorts again and again, and you need to make sure that you understand the technique of the short as well, which is uh, available in my different video. Please subscribe my channel if you haven't uh, done yet, and also press the bell button so uh, you get all the updates of my channel so uh, let me start with this practice and uh, make sure that you start practicing slowly and follow the steps and definitely you will improve your game very quickly so uh, i'm going to start with the short one and uh, i'll show you the image of the white ball and you can see where i'm going to start my position with so <clears throat> short one you can see the green dot green circle is our tip and uh, you can see it's not very uh, low it's almost uh, off the middle slightly lower and place the wi uh, white ball not straight to the brown ball but slightly off straight so the white white ball comes uh, and make the position of the blue ball try to hold this ball before the uh, middle pocket so you can make a simple position on the blue and uh, what the, the point uh, to be noted here is that put the chalk on your tip and try to keep your white ball before the middle pocket so you can play simple position on your pink and then the black so what I need you to notice is how steady I hit my ball and uh, you can see how the cue action should be smooth and don't be hasty and you need to practice this short at least 20 times from not just one side but on the other side as well now you see how steady i was and i stayed down in the short and now i'm in a very good position and you can see i can follow the white ball uh, over there and then make it a, a pink pot in the middle and in the pocket and then i can follow it for the black ball so uh, you have to practice this again and again but let's uh, have a quick look uh, the same short uh, with the slow motion and uh, slightly close up you can see I'm hitting I'm not hitting too low so make sure when you hit this ball uh, experience is going to tell you that how uh, this practice is going to help and how how much you have to hit or how how less or how hard you have to hit so uh, let's move to the short two now you can see the circle point is low which is, means that the tip of the our cue is slightly lower than the short one and uh, again place the white ball almost uh, at the same place where uh, previously my uh, white was but you can see that uh, there's a difference between hitting deep screw and uh, 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 stun screw or normal screw just have a quick look at this shot that in this shot I'm going to hit a deep screw which will finish my white ball almost into the cushion i can pot the ball from here and make the position um, i can pot pink ball from here uh, but still it's near the cushion so what i want to do i would like to keep my white ball near the pink ball instead of near the cushion because obviously cushion makes our lives a bit uh, difficult so let me play this short again and i'm going to uh, make slightly thinner angle and try to uh, create a line of my white ball spinning around and avoiding blue and then finishing up on the pink ball and now you can see it's a good line and how steady I was and but these are the practice actually this is a practice routine that you need to work on you need to start working from the blue and then pink and then uh, move on to the black but 
you have to practice these shorts because experiment teaches you a lot let's have a look at this short and play uh, from close up and uh, you make sure you practice this short again i'm saying that uh, at least 20 times 30 times depending on uh, when you are going to get all your experience in the short you can see how white ball screws back because it was slightly thinner angle it moves towards I, if i didn't hit this time uh, too low so now let's move to the short three uh, as you can see the circle is uh, going down it means the tip is going to be uh, a bit lower than the previous short you know, one and two previous shorts so let's uh, play this same shot and make the position of the white of the of the black ball and this time again i'm going to uh, play first shot a bit deep screw and try to play white ball of the uh, of the cushion and get under the black ball and uh, let's see how i'm going to play what you need to do but this is a very advanced shot so make sure you practice previous shots and uh, when you are fearless and you can you're confident and then you can play this short so uh, note the steadiness in the short and see how how many seconds i stay down after even after playing the short look at this i'm still head is down no movement no body movement now you can see i'm in a very good position of the back still it is near the black, uh, cushion so i have to make position of the i would like my posi my white balls position a bit close to the black ball so this time i'm going to place my white ball slightly slightly thinner than the previous angle and try to hit less lower than the previous hit so but you can you can notice that the steadiness and the short is going to be the same and look at this this is a very good position and even in that game or in the tournament if you come out to this position it's very unlikely that you miss the black ball so uh, the best thing is that you practice you have to but you have to start from the blue make sure you practice all these shots at least 20 times and uh, let me play the same shot with a slightly more power and i'm going to try to hit the top cushion with the white ball and let's see you see how it avoids my uh, blue ball and white ball spins you can see it touches top cushion which is very very good shot very powerful shot and you make sure you practice these shots so uh, also uh, one very important thing that you have to practice these shots from the both sides of the table not from one side because if you create a habit of playing shots from one side and suddenly in the match in the game it comes uh, your white ball is positioned on the other side of the table then you get confused so if you have a practice on the both sides of the table that will help you to uh, that will give you confidence playing in the tournament or in the frame shots so uh, i think i should uh, finish up my video training with today's training video here and um, if you want to have a training session with me uh, personally or online or uh, if you want to invite me uh, to in your country in your city please let me know and uh, please leave your comments and share your videos as well make a small video of 10 seconds and send it to me also subscribe my channel and uh, share it with your friends and um, i'll try to help you out on your videos whoever videos comes to me i'll add them in my next coming programs and we'll talk about your uh, problems and mistakes and i'll definitely be doing my live shows as well so enjoy your practice thank you very much bye